What's going on guys? Spencer AK74M here. We're gonna do our February video. Oh, February 2013. Starting to look like dark times for gun owners. Well, let's go into the reasons why. Barack Obama got reelected. Now, I predicted that once Barack Obama got reelected, he would go after guns. Oh no, he won't go after guns. No, has he gone after guns yet? No, it's his first term. He doesn't have the things to do it yet. Now he does, and now he is. Sandy Hook. A shooter slash shooters walked into this school, killed 20-something kids and some teachers and the principal, using, at first report, an assault weapon. You know, I guess it's turned out that he used handguns, not assault weapons, but hey, they're going to push the assault weapons forward. You have the shooter in Oregon. You have Aurora. And you have this crazy, psychotic ex-LAPD cop that's been going around killing cops who have wronged him and their families since then. In fact, it's been going on, it's going on right now. And his little manifesto is interesting. He's a left-wing nut job who loves Barack Obama, loves Dianne Feinstein, loves Pierce Morgan, and is calling for a ban on these, yet is using these to perform his evil deeds. Yeah, sounds liberal to me. Anywho, alright, so, buying guns, ammo, magazines, and accessories right now. What to buy, what not to buy. Guys, if you already have a few of these, AK, AR, um, anything else that's tactical and, you know, scary looking to liberals. FS2000, SCARS, Bushmaster ACRs, stuff like that. If you already have a couple, don't buy any right now. It's not the greatest idea. You already have some, don't get price gouged. This is something new to me, and yes, I did pick this up recently in the midst of all this hysteria. But I didn't pay what you think I might pay for something like this right now. But we'll get into this rifle a little later. Ammunition. Guys, if you have a sizable quantity of ammunition right now, I wouldn't, you know, go out and again get price gouged. For one thing, you can't find a lot of ammo. 5.56, 9mm, 22 long rifle of all calibers, uh, 7.62.39 actually was available up until like last week. I mean, we had a shit ton here at the stores in Reno. Now it's gone. You know, in no small part to me. <laughs> um, 5.45. There's a couple online places that have it right now, but the prices per spam can have gone up quite a bit, which is annoying. So again, if you already have a sizable quantity of ammo on hand, don't 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 buy into this whole price gouging on ammo. Ammo's gonna be around. They're not gonna ban ammo. They're not gonna try and ban ammo yet. So ammo will come back. If you already have a ton of magazines, yeah, I guess you can go ahead and get a couple more if you really want to get price gouged, but you really don't need to. Now, if you don't have an AK, an AR, something else like that, now may be the time to bite the bullet, spend the money, and get one. Because this is going to go one of two ways. One, an assault weapons ban will not happen. Prices will come back down. You'll feel like shit that you paid, you know, 1900 for a direct gas Bushmaster when now they're 1200 six months down the line. Or... Some kind of legislation is passed, and you have one. Whereas, if you didn't get one, now you can't even think about buying one. So, you know, it's, you can go either way. Magazines. Guys, if you're going to buy anything right now, if you, wanna, if you feel the need to spend money, buy some magazines. I mean, if you already have a shit ton, hey, I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm not going to tell you what you can do. But if you want to buy something, buy magazines. AR magazines are incredibly hard to find right now. These are Elanders. These are Israeli-made steel magazines that the Mako Group is uh, making and importing. And if you go onto the Mako Group's website, which I'll put down in the description, you can buy these right now. They're always in stock. You can buy as many as you want. And they're only about 18 bucks. Which, for a steel magazine... Hello? <laughs> That's a good price. That's a good price for anything right now. Um, 
Don't expect him to get them anytime soon. I waited a month for eight of these. Now the wait is up to two or three months, and it's, it's just going to go up. I don't know if you can see it, but this is how serious the Israelis are about selling us magazines. Manufacturing date, 12-12, December of 2012, right when this first started. So these are brand new. They're manufacturing shit tons of them right now. But these are Elander magazines, like I was saying. They're comparable to H&K, the steel magazines. You know, I, I've touched an H&K magazine. I've never had one. Oh, shit. Sorry. They're expensive. I mean, they're like 40, 50, 60 bucks. These are 18 bucks. <laughs> I'll buy these. I've used these in my FS2000. These are great magazines. Um, they're a little bit heavier than aluminum magazines, but dude, this is what I'm used to is an AK magazine, which is twice as heavy as this. So I don't think they're heavy. These things in the FS2000 are pretty cool. With the anti-corrosion finish they put on it, these things slip past that rubber slip past that rubber skirt in the FS2000 like, you know, click. It just clicks right in. It's really cool. It's really I, I can push me with one finger. It's nifty. So I'm going to buy some more of these once I get some money. If you uh can find good deals on guns, what to expect? Let's talk about this rifle. This is a Romanian. Let me move the other one out of the way. Ugh. This is a Romanian SAR 1. These were pre banned. These actually, no, these were post banned, excuse me. These came in from, I think these came in 2000, 2001. And all they had to do to get them in was to shave off the bayonet lug and leave the muzzle unthreaded, if I'm not mistaken. This is not the original furniture, so no, it didn't come in like this, which would have been cool, but hey, whatever. So a gentleman walks us to a local gun store while I was in there, says I want to sell this rifle, I just don't want it, I'm not a big fan of these. He pulls out a really nice condition SAR-1 that had the original furniture on it, solid stock, stuff like that. And the sales guy starts spouting off, oh, well, it's just a Romanian parts kit gun, and it's not, it wasn't worth that much. It's got Chinese parts intermixed in. I'm just sitting in the background rolling my eyes. And they made them a pretty low ball offer. And they would have turned around and sold it for probably $1,200. So I met the guy outside the store and said, hey, you know, are you still interested in selling that? He says, yes, I am. And I told him I'd give you $750 for it. And he said, well, I'm going to take you around to a couple more stores, see what I can find. I said, by all means, go ahead. He calls me a week later, took it around to multiple stores in the area within a 60 mile radius, and then I offered him pretty much the same thing, you know, four or five hundred bucks. So he met me down in Carson City, and he thought my offer was a little too high, so he said, how about 700? So I'm like, all right, yeah, I'll, I'll buy it from you for 700 bucks. And it was a rifle and four magazines. So made the deal, got the rifle home, First thing I did was I took the furniture off of it, not because I really didn't like it, but because it's just you know your typical Romanian furniture. There's nothing wrong with it. The uh, the air cooling vents go really low on these. I mean you can actually stick your finger in there and hit the barrel, and you don't want to do that when you're shooting because it's hot. The stock is really nice. It's just a standard Romanian AKM style stock, you know, but I took it off, so I had a sling on it. And I replaced the wood with Polish AK furniture from the uppers from one of my uh, Polish armor's chest rebuild kits, the lowers from an AKM that I had a while ago. And then the back stock is a Romanian side folder that I've had for two years or so. I got it when I was in Texas. And then a uh, used Polish pistol grip. So now it's, you know, what I want. So 700 bucks for an AK. That's a good deal right now. That would have been a pretty good deal before the shooting. But these used a uh, standard AKM receiver, like the Egyptian Mahdi's or the Hungarian S85M's that were actually pre banned not post banned Comes with the Y stamp and the I stamp which is where you would drill the third pin for an auto sear if the, NA, if the NFA laws you know, would allow it. So don't drill that. You'll become a felon. Rifle's in great condition. 
he maybe put a couple hundred rounds through it. Maybe not. Um, but yeah, you know, it's just a rugged AKM. So if you can find deals like that, by all means, guys, buy them and, you know, get them in your safe. <laughs> well, good luck in actually finding them. Now, stuff to concentrate on. Magazines. You want to concentrate on magazines right now if you want to buy anything. If you don't have these, by all means, buy them. If you do have them, don't. Wait. I mean, I've got 30 plus, you know, AK magazines in each caliber. I have a decent amount of AR magazines. Those are the magazines that I've been buying recently, are these. Because I don't have a shitload of them. If you can find drums for a decent price, by all means, pick up drums. You know, Russian, Romanian. Chinese. Um, some of the South Korean drums are okay. The ones I or the one I have is fine. Some of them are shit. Now, if you live in ban era states already, like California, California just introduced a law that obviously make anything semi-automatic that is capable of detaching any magazine that is detachable. I just talked myself in a circle, didn't I? Will be illegal. So what to buy then? Well, buy something like this. You know, side by side coach gun. I mean, hey, and I don't want to. I don't want to face one of these. Shit, dude. These are the. This is how you get the quickest second round off in a 12 gauge. Bang bang. Even on a semi-auto, you'd be hard pressed. So, you know, 22s, 10 22s. If you can find one right now, buy one of those. You know, old bolt actions, Mausers, motion gains, stuff like that. If you can find them, buy them and buy a lot of ammo for them. You know. Millions of people were killed in World War II with bolt action rifles. They're still a viable weapon, still a viable firearm. Some of the laws that are coming out right now are just draconian, guys. You know, you need to get in touch with your elected officials, your congressmen, your senators. Take part in these rallies that have been going on at state capitals. Last month I was down in Carson City. We probably had 1,500, 2,000 people down there. And, you know, I was open carrying my underfolder, my Polish underfolder. You had people open carrying ARs, pistols, stuff like that. We actually ate at Denny's afterwards, and all of us brought in our weapons, and they didn't care. Which is remarkable in Carson City, because that dude walked into an IHOP with an illegal full-auto AK and shot up the place. So, most people don't want this ban to happen. You know, most people, even though they may not buy these types of weapons, they may not like firearms... They don't think the government should be saying what you can and cannot have. So like I said, you know, get into contact with your elected representatives. You know, send them email, send them snail mail, call them. This is not the problem. This folding stock, this pistol grip, this detachable magazine that holds 30 rounds. It's not the problem. The problem is the software, it's not the hardware. You need to focus on mental health in this country not focus on the hardware. So guys, you know, it's going to be a rough journey. All the stuff that's been going on is just going to get tougher and tougher until it's decided one way or the other. And right now we're at about a 50-50 split. We've got to put that in our favor. So in conclusion, if you don't have this stuff right now, well yeah, you might want to buy it. If you do have this stuff, you know, save your money. Because eventually, you know, if you already have 30 or 40 magazines in each caliber that you have, by all means, save them. Sell one or two, make some money. But don't go out and buy 10 for, you know, $500. If you already have a lot of ammo, don't go out and buy it right now. Ammo will come back. If you don't have this stuff, yeah, buy it. But if you do, don't worry about it. Anyways, guys, like I said, you know, just keep up with all the pro Second Amendment stuff that's been going around. Hop on Facebook, hop on all the other social media sites, YouTube it. Support your guns, support your gun owners, support the gun manufacturers, because they are going full bore right now for us. Not for the military, not for the government. They're going full bore for us. So, uh, yeah. It's going to be a fun time ahead. Next six months, you're going to tell it all. And watch out for all this false flag operations. Watch out for these shootings that keep happening at the most opportune times for liberals to push this stuff. It's pretty fishy. Guys, this is Spencer AK74M.
signing off. Go out, have fun, go shooting, be safe, and show people out there that we're not monsters. We're just people like them exercising our rights. Ta-ta.